Now, when I was a kid, all I needed was a box because sometimes when they give you a present, the box was more fun to play <laughs> on or play with than the toy or gift inside of it, right? The other was, give me my truck. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go in the backyard and destroy my dad's lawn and he'll get <laughs> mad at me and my kids did that to me and I'm pretty sure my kids' kids will do that to him, right? So, and that's all about one theme. Well, we're celebrating this year the 75th anniversary of the Tonka truck. And they made a beautiful coin as a tribute. Take a peek. It's a rectangular ingot, but it's a legal tender coin. We're going to flip it over so you can see it. It's for the 75th anniversary, right? Hasbro, i.e., where the Tonka brand is tied to. Now, it's a colorized with the 75th anniversary logo on it. The reverse, again, we'll get to in a second. Beautifully packaged, but the staggering thing and why it sold out so fast was 1947. Now, Tonka Toys was founded in 1947 by the Mound Metalcraft Company in Mound, Minnesota. So therefore, for the 75th anniversary, they limited the mintage to just that number, 1,947 pieces, one of the most limited special issues we've seen in a very long time. I mean, other special issues, Disney, Star Wars, they have editions of 5,000, 10,000 plus. And this is an introductory price, 129.95, same as those other high mintage coins. Again, as only. referenced, it's from the government of Newway. That's who, that's who was given the license by Hasbro, right? The New Zealand Mint is striking the coin for them. And they've won how many awards for what they've done with the technology today in the industry. But for this piece, the colorized version of this, they limited it to a crazy number. Now, I can tell you this. My first grandson was born this year. Proud grandpa, right? Do you think he doesn't have one of these sitting aside for him? <laughs> I mean, I, I would lose my grandpa card if I did it, right? <laughs> and I'm just, I mean, talking out loud. less available, folks. But that is, <laughs> and we had, we had meetings last week with the U.S. Mint, right, on topics yeah. of the industry, and how do we get the youth involved today? And I said, well, the other world governments have an advantage over the U.S. government because they can license in their collectible coins, where the U.S. doesn't, right? Um, per se. They've done some with the basketball and, and stuff like that. But So as a result, the concept of, like when I started collecting coins, my grandfather sitting down with me and getting me involved. Hey, here's the story of this coin, etc. Boy, girl, indifferent. A extremely limited coin. Colorized. Gorgeous. I mean, it's, I mean, it, I mean it's, it's wow, right? There's no way you can't look at this and say, wow, whether you like trucks or not, right? And now you look at the mintage, then you look at the other side. Passing on that lovely collecting thing that we all have, that we all love to do. And what are some of the ways of getting the youth involved today? What are some great stocking stuffers for those we can't figure out what to get or not get? I mean, Showed this to a couple of youths, right? And they just looked at it and said, wow, right? I showed it to people of my generation. There was more excitement from my generation on this coin, because I think all of us remember when we were kids playing with Taka trucks, right? Now, a couple of other tidbits. Wonderful tidbit. I lived my young adolescence in the great city of Minneapolis, St. Paul, right? I was on the Minneapolis side with the school on the St. Paul side, right? And Tonka, the word Tonka trucks comes from Lake Minnetonka. So those of you that are familiar with that part of the country, it means what? Big lake. And Lake Minnetonka is a huge lake. And if you're ever out there, Lord Fletcher's, by the way. You gotta get to Lord Fletcher's. Great restaurant on the lake. I just love it. They have a, a crusted, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, di I'm digressing from the conversation, am I not? But at the end of the day, we got 0.999 fine silver. It's a one ounce silver colorized 75th anniversary Tonka celebration, only 1,947 made worldwide. For the entire world, that's it, limited. One of the rarest editions we have seen so far. It's a 905-9857. And again, 129.95 is the same intro price that we have tonight for the brand new Tonka as we have had for the Disneys that came out, the Star Wars, the, the helmets and whatnot. 
all wonderful coins in their own right. But again, a lot of these entities that have beyond, right? People, Disney, Star Wars, right? DC Comics, Marvel, are all introducing collectible coins, which is a great way, again, to get people involved in collecting. But they're also making extremely limited numbers. I remember when Disney's first coin came out in 2017. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie, and there's 250,000 of them. And right. you can't find that coin today no. for $60, $70. Then they lowered it to like 25,000. Then they lowered it and squeezed it to 5,000, which is what they do, by the way. They always make their collectibles valuable by limited quantities available. Well, tonight, this version, which is the colorized ingot, is under 2,000. If the US government put out a coin, I don't care what it was, under 2,000 pieces, what would happen? A two-second sellout. Oh, and by the way, they did. A couple years ago, remember? The V75 on the one-ounce gold coin, 1,975. Can you touch that coin for $15,000 today? Right. Now. Uniqueness, all the reference there is to what happens in the U.S. market with rare, low mintages. This is what happens in the world market. You get a great opportunity. It's sold out. It's gone. We have a limited quantity. We were allocated. We asked for X. We got Y, which was X minus a number. <laughs> right. A big number, by the way. But we're thrilled to have a few of them available here tonight to talk. So, if it's not for yourself, so brings up a conversation for later, by the way, also. But... How about that someone special, the next door neighbor, that family member that just you want to sit down and have the, the, the passion directed conversations like we have talking about our coins and our coin collection. What a great way to get the youths involved. It's never too early to start holiday shopping. I don't care what month of the year it is. My mother is usually done by August. So I'll <laughs> tell you, you know, I wait till December, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, while they're available, if this is something that speaks to you for one of your grandkids or, like you said, nephew, niece, hey, girls like trucks, too. I remember. I, when, I, when I was growing up, my next-door neighbor's name was Faith, right? And we would get in fights in the sandbox playing with our trucks. So the <laughs> two of us, and again, so we, it, it, but just part of our history, part of, um, it's one of those is things, right? But tonight, again, a special collectible coin for under 200 bucks with under 2,000 known to exist, and the New Zealand Mint knocked it out of the park. From the outer box to the special hard plastic holder that we're showing you here, as well as the colorized version, which is the very limited version. The one you're seeing here tonight. Hasbro as Listen, well. fully licensed, it's, and it's all the information on the certs in the back of the box. They just tied it together, meant as a gift, sometimes just for ourselves, which is okay. Guys, it's time for us to be moving on. Thanks for the conversation.